The most difficult thing that I've ever had to endure was, in fact, going back to school. I remember being at the bottom of my depression. It was chaos, this dark, empty hole in my chest, very alone. It's not being able to get out of bed, not being able to find the words to communicate to others what was going on. I was in the United States Marine Corps for approximately six years. I did see combat. Over pressure from a blast caused me to smash my face. Both my eye sockets were crushed. My nose was crushed. It left me with traumatic brain injury, or also known as TBI. And because of that, I've had a lot of problems dealing with a transitioning back into school. I was a mess. I didn't have the right tools under my belt yet to know that I was gonna be okay. I was suicidal. I had attempted several times. One major significant one, I should not be here. After returning from Iraq, it became very difficult, almost as if I was translucent and, uh, you know, fading. I will get depressed. I will feel um, unworthy. And I was uh, starting to spiral towards solidarity. And I was becoming more, more isolated. School is hard enough all on its own. You know, the deadlines with homework and the projects, and then you throw in a depressed day or any struggles with mental well-being on that level. It seems to kick it up a notch. When I saw my grades going down, my GPA dropping, I didn't know where to turn. Being in college is challenging, and, and students, even if you know, if they've already had mental health problems, it may be increased when they, when they come to a college environment. But also those students who haven't normally, maybe they've been able to get by and haven't noticed it, but all of a sudden they're away from home, they're supporting themselves, they're starting to process any problems that might have happened while they were at home that they didn't talk to anybody about, and they're adults now, and maybe they feel safer to talk about things. You just need to ask for the help you need and, and somebody will get you in the right place. I will say the biggest turning point for me is when I openly started sharing my journey with others. With my classmates and my family, it's made me feel not so alone because it's been amazing how many people step up and say me too. The truth is, is that we all need therapy, whether it's making an appointment to see a therapist and come in and talk to a non-biased person or, or having a really good friend that you feel like you can talk to. And sometimes when life gets really hard and you need to talk to someone more often than you normally would need to talk to that good friend or that family member, that's when having a therapist can be really essential. To get services at Cuesta in the Health Center for Therapy, you just need to be a registered student at Cuesta and have paid your health fee. And what I realized was that I needed to get some kind of help. And asking for help was the first step. Or actually, I think admitting that I needed help was probably the first step, and uh, asking for help was the second step. There are a variety of services available on campus that can help you, you know, be successful here. The EOPS program for first-generation college students, you can go to the counseling office to get help with academics and, you know, general stress issues. Our DSPS program for any students who have a verified disability. We also have clubs and organizations, the Active Minds organization that's on campus now is really helping uh, with the stigma of mental health problems and helping students work through that. We have a new class, art therapy class, that's really making a difference in helping students to connect with other students who are dealing with the same struggles and work through their stress and anxiety and adjust to the college environment. I ended up going to the DSPS program. This is the Disabled Students Program, and this program actually changed my life. Um, it, it opened that door, right? And uh, I was able to find my niche. 
Getting help on campus has taken me from being like a C student and has allowed me to be an A student. I genuinely smile more and it's for real. I'll never forget <laughs> driving down the freeway and I was smiling and I thought to myself, oh my gosh, that's for real. It is not fake. <laughs> when I was able to get help, I felt that there wasn't a stigma uh, overshadowing my life anymore. I felt like the door was open and I was able to walk through it. Getting help for me has meant everything in the world and changed my life dramatically.